Friends, uh, here I am again uh, with a simple problem, uh, that of intransitivity of correlation, a mistake that's commonly made in uh, psychology. I mean, psychology is pretty much make every mistake in a book because they take uh, equations uh, from some textbook and think they know what's going on. And, and usually the textbook has been written by a, uh, was written by a psychologist or sometimes a statistician who doesn't know probability. Uh, you have to go deeper into the, 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 the probability to get when you work because with uh, uh, social science because of complexity. So let's take the very simple statement. There is a positive co co correlation between genetics and IQ scores. Let's say genetics is something abstract, but and then there is a, a positive correlation. How they get it is not the point. Uh, point two, there is a positive correlation between IQ scores and performance. They infer necessarily that therefore there is a positive correlation between genetics and performance. Is it true? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> not necessarily true. Uh, first of all, I'm not even sure there is a correlation between IQ score and performance. We'll get into that some other day. But for now, it's not true. And let's uh, let's see how we can we can prove it. Let's index by one, uh, you know, genes by one, uh, scores, IQ scores by two, two and performance by three. Uh, so, and sigma will be sigma one, sigma two would be the respective variances. Sigma one squared would be the variances. Mm -hmm. um, cap sigma would be the covariance matrix. Now, what values can one, three, and now the correlation between uh, row one, three, correlation between uh, genetics and performance <laughs> what should it be okay given correlation between one and two and correlation between two and three what would one and three be well one and three can take values that can be surprising the first two can be positive and the other one negative it's very simply take the covariance matrix you, you fill it and you say under what condition will it, the covariance matrix be positive definite which is like sort of the equivalent to saying that in one dimension that sigma is positive. <clears throat> okay. Now, visibly, there is something called Sylvester's uh, criterion for a Hermitian uh, matrix. Um, and, and for it, we have to have, you start breaking the, the matrix into smaller and smaller, uh, sorry, larger and larger matrices, or smaller and smaller, depending on the direction you go. And, and, and all of these need to be have positive determinants. So uh, the first condition, visibly, the sigma square needs, sigma needs to be positive. The second condition it gives you Cauchy-Schwartz that, that uh, you know, that they can put from the first uh, sub-matrix. And then, of course, we take sigma as a matrix. And, 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 and the condition will have to be the following. Uh, this is the... the, the the bound for row one three, conditional on having row one two and row two three, and 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 the bound if if the correlation is one third between heredity and uh, and the other and heredity and uh, what we call genetics an abstract thing but but it still can determine correlation, and IQ score is one third, and between IQ score and performance is one third. It could be the other one could be negative and and ninety seven nine. So you have to test genetics and performance. You have to, and I, I don't know if they have been able to do that test. It doesn't matter. The point is, don't make the data uh, 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 say things that the data is not saying, or or, or, be, or, or don't make the tools that you have, okay, lead to a different interpretation than what these tools allow you to do. Thank you for listening to me. The paper is, as usual, going to be on Academia to download. Uh, it will mutate into a scientific uh, paper uh, soon. And, and, and uh, But I don't think this is a, has a huge scientific value. Although it's not well known, I noted that the maestro Terry Tao also wasn't aware of the transitivity of correlation. He discovered it in a book. And, uh, and and wrote a piece on it and showed the condition under which you can have uh, the correlation can be transitive. It can really be transitive in rare cases where all correlation are very high. 
very close to one. Actually, that, that you have to sum up the squares got to be sum up to one. So thank you for listening to me and have a good day.